Hello everyone, Marco Polo and one nine nine here. And today I'm going to be showing you something that I've been building. Now this is my adventure map. It doesn't have a storyline yet. Yep. Orders is well, let me show you. So first of all, you start off in this little igloo. And I think the plot line is gonna be something like you're you've been to an expedition and one of the, your friends have fallen down this after the ice cracked open. So what happens is you have to get supplies and you have to come here and you have to jump down into the crevice. Now what you find is something that you wouldn't think you would. What happened is the crevice opened up into this old temple. So there'll be another plot and then you'll come here. Now as you see there's lots of buttons on the wall and there's lava. No other way of getting through. Can't do anything, so I guess we'll have to press the buttons. So you try pressing all of them, but you have to get to a certain button, which is this one here, in order to stop the lava and jump through. Now you see as well, water at the bottom, so I guess you're going to drop down. And now where am I? I'm in a room, it's dark, I can't see beyond. And which one shall I go? I guess I'll go this one here. Now, if I choose to go backwards, I can't. Because the soul sand stops me from going past. That's something Sif Bling found out. And I think it's really useful if you want to make a path where you can't walk back in. So now we walk through and where have we gotten to? Oh, we've gotten to a minecart track. Now this is the minecart test. Overall, and there's four different passageways. So I have an ice jumping, water, lava, and this is the minecart. So, what we do is there's the track. Oh yeah. Oh, we can't get past. I guess our minecart has to go. So we go here. Oh, look, there are buttons. What does this one do? I wonder. Looks like it changed the track all the way up there. And this one here? Changes this track here. So what we do is we have to hop in. Click, click, click. And if we do it fast enough... No, we didn't do it fast enough. So you have to do it extremely fast try and get past. Nope, not that time. This is one of my harder challenges. Nope. Now this challenge is definitely quite hard. Let's see if we got it. Yes, yes, we've made it. Yes, I haven't made it stop here. It just stays, so I guess I'll change that now while I've pointed it out. There we go. So, now we're here in this little room, and I guess we'll go through this passageway. Well first, let me show you the other four tests. We'll just drop down, and now we're in this room again. This one here is the water jumping. It's quite a simple one, this one, so if you choose this room, you're quite lucky. Just walk up and now you're there. But if you drop, you're dead and you have to start all over again and you lose all your items. This one is the lava and ladder. You have to do ladder jumps without falling. And after the never, after the lava, it's just the void. So you may as well not fall in there. So now I've made that. These aren't too hard, but they're difficult for some people. And now here's the last one. This is the ice. So it's just jumping. Oh god. Okay, so I'm not fine. Yep. 
Yeah, they're pretty, pretty difficult. That's what I want this map to be. There we go, so that's the fourth and last one. Now, all four of them connect to one central point. We have to go here. And this is the central point. Right here, so those are the two other places. And it says here, checkpoint. Sleep here to spawn here. Because it's going to be quite a tough time. I'll just bring it up. You have to play this map on hard. It's going to be quite tough soon. So I guess we'll sleep. And wake up. Okay, so we're going to spawn here next time. If we die. Now, there's a room full of lava. Doesn't seem there's any way across. So, the, this is basically a hidden jumping puzzle. What you have to do is you see there's a block here, so you have to jump then jump down to here, jump across and then sprint jump all the way. I wonder what that lever does. No harm in trying. So I guess we flick the lever and it lights up the little area around us. Now this is dangerous when you're in survival. Spiders, skeletons, zombies. It's, gonna, it's a challenge. And then when you're inside, the skeletons, zombies are going to spawn soon. And you have to... There we go, there's another skeleton. Skeletons in the front, zombies in the back. And you have to get up here. And then there's redstone torches. Now you don't have to take all of them. You only need... Oh, you can take all of them, so... Let me just clear my inventory. It cleared that as well. Oh well, let's just fix that. Move it back one, maybe. And... There we go. So, basically we have a couple torches in our hand now. There's lots of zombies and skeletons. You have to fight your way out. It is a very challenging map. There's more skeletons. What you have to do is fight your way to the top of this temple. And when you get here, you'll see this kind of not the same block as the obsidian. And you'll see two blocks behind. So I guess, you know, there'll be a little sign saying what to do. Hello, spider. And it'll be hard. And then we click that. Bam. And I really like these stairs. They look really cool. <laughs> With the glowstone. Looks kind of fluorescent. So you'll be walking up here. You pass through a ravine. Lots of lava. And then you get to the top here. And you see nothing around you. And it's just this icy tunnel. I still don't have a plot storyline for this, so... Yeah, I don't really un know what's going to happen, but... So now we're here. And we're going and we're going and going. Oh, no! And this is as far as I've gotten so far. So, hope you enjoy. And... If you have any ideas for a storyline that could fit with this map please let's leave it in the comments or send me a message and if you have any ideas what I can add on to this map because I can make this a um, viewer edition so you guys can help me build the map if you want you tell me what to do I'll do it and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this hope you leave a comment saying what you want or helping me with a storyline and as always have a nice day Marco Polo over and out